Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about my trip to Hawaii. Um, this is something that like I posted a bunch of videos on my vlog channel. I also posted on Instagram, TikTok. You guys know, I didn't like hide anything. Uh, I wanted to just talk about like if you want to travel to Hawaii and some of the things that you should know about. It's just because like there are so many like it's not like traveling to any other state uh, it is quite unique i mean it's a unique place overall besides the point but there are a few things that you should know before traveling there unlike any state that you're going even california uh this actually requires you to test so you have to have a negative test but there are also some restrictions on that you can't just say uh you have a negative test from a week ago or something from some random place so they do actually have their trusted partners on their website on the hawaii travel website it's actually called safe travels online program this actually whole thing i want to mention just too is like this is technically considered pre-test pre-travel test program so this is essentially they're preparing for the next travel actual travel program which they can open their doors to more international people uh, but this is right now is like pre-program and uh, only state actually in Hawaii that's not essentially participating and they have kind of like a completely separate rules is actually Kauai that's the only island that has different rules I remember the time actually we went they were telling us like they actually require a quarantine like there's no way around it you have to quarantine for 10 days but there are some loopholes nowadays I just looked at the website that says like you can be in another island for three days or 72 hours then you can uh, pass bypass that quarantine period by being in that island and that just qualifies you for that and there are other ones too it's like it's called inter-island thing so you have you can check that out yourself for Kauai as I haven't been there so I cannot tell so much about it this is something from I read on the website I will definitely link it down below for Hawaii's travel program and also Kauai if you want to travel just that island for specifically you can also check that island as well because they have separate guidelines but any other state, including um, Oahu, Big Island, Maui, all the other islands, they follow the same regulation. So before you travel, you have to find out or think about where you're going to get tested. This has to be, and there's no way around it, 72 hours before your flight. So it has to be very recent. And they have the list, as I mentioned, and also this has to be, um, specific test it's the fda approved nat test i will put the whole description here it's pretty long um but anyways that's what it is and this has to be by the testing by the, their partners that they say on the website again i will put the website down below and you guys will see what kind of testing they require and what places they accept so the one we actually got, uh, got this was actually at the airport which was very convenient for us it's called express check and we got it at the Newark airport pretty convenient um, not super long at all because you can make an appointment actually so it's pretty easy one thing I would say though the price wise this was because it's still a quick I mean like fast like it's quick test but um, it is because it's still like for the nose it is two hundred dollars so from what i have heard is like some places that differs to hundred dollars or regular price is actually hundred dollars i'm not sure maybe this is like the tested partners maybe it's because it's at the airport that's hundred like more expensive so you can maybe check it out to other places because in the list actually there is also cvs health but again that depends on where you are so i think if it is at the airport because it's convenience that's why that adds up the price but overall we paid two hundred dollar each me and my boyfriend that was it it's from express check if you want to do it you can do that at the airport pretty convenient you wait for the results for 20 minutes they give you this they send you pdf actually but they also give you the like printed results so in case you want to show to people okay so let's just say you have this but before even you um what do you mean like have the test results and everything when you buy your ticket after you buy your ticket go to the safe travel website which is uh, travel.hawaii.gov so in there you essentially like signing up 
saying that you are traveling, you're a visitor. I don't think this is even a COVID thing. I think this is just like a general thing because Hawaii has such a unique nature and they kind of want to make sure who's coming, who's going out. So you put your information, they ask you your name, like how long you'll be staying, where you will be staying, like they want to know exactly where you'll be going in case you get positive and everything. So pretty detailed, you can check it out as well. So what happens is like as soon as you get your test results, because they send you a PDF, you upload your test results on the Hawaii uh, travel.hawaii.gov website. So that's the one that you added to. Other thing though, so before, that's the first thing you do, but there is another step, which is something that we almost missed and I didn't even remember. So you also have to make sure that you put, you upload this PDF on the Hawaii travel website before you board in a plane to the Hawaii. Like if, if you have a connection, that's fine. You can do it during your connection, but it has to be before you board in a plane to Hawaii because if you do it later, you could be quarantined, subject to quarantine and I don't know, you might miss your vacation. So you have to remember that. And another thing is 24 hours before your flight, you actually have to go into the Hawaii website and enter your flight information, the flight that you're exactly taking, and that will give you this QR code. And that QR code is going to be the QR code that like uh, they will scan actually for pretty much everything in Hawaii. Like when we checked into the hotel, the first hotel we were in, and I think the other one too, uh, they check, uh, they scan that code to make sure you have uh, negative test results. That last thing that you complete, it's essentially, it's not like anything big deal, so I have to mention. It's kind of like a health questionnaire. It's pretty simple, it's just a bunch of information. So they have to scan it when you land at the airport, uh, and also they will scan it probably at your hotel as well, as I mentioned before. So other thing is, so when you land, after you land, uh, it depends on which airport you landed, because uh, we in, first we landed in Big Island. So when you land in Big Island, so they, um, you're in the line, you show them your test results, like the QR code that I was mentioning, because they scan that, you go in, that's it, you're good. So that essentially bypasses your 14 day um, quarantine thing, but then you also actually get tested at the airport. You don't get charged for that, it's free test. It is provided by the travel, um, I mean the state of Hawaii, so it's not nothing to do with you. Um, they do it through your nose, with your group actually. You don't have to do it like separately, you can just go by with the group that you are in. Um, one thing that like they don't actually tell you, you don't have to wait for your results there. Um, what they told us, like she literally just told us is, uh, because they have our contact information, they said if there is something in your group, like if someone is positive, you will get a call from us. If you don't get a call from us, that means you're all set, enjoy your vacation. So that was all the things that you need to know before you travel to Hawaii. If you want to see my entire experience from traveling to uh, Hawaii from New York City, I will definitely link it up here in my blog channel, you can check it out. I pretty much uploaded all my experience from there, so you can find out. And if you want to read more about it from the restrictions or the specific island you're traveling to, I will definitely link the website of travel.hawaii.gov so you can check it out. And that was it, I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.